How did you get this power? I got it by believing that, it, that it's available and that it's available to everyday people that believe that God is who He says that He is and He can do what He says He can do. That's really where it, it begins, there's a belief. When did you realize you had this power and how did it manifest itself? I started realizing I had a gift of discernment and how it worked in me was through touch. When there was cancer, a certain vibration would come into my arm. I've smelled cancer too. Sometimes I can smell, not all the time, and I can't turn it on and off. You said it smells like? Cancer smells like, have you ever lit a match? And then the match goes out and you smell that sulfur? And what rotten eggs would smell like? If you could put those two odors together, that's how I would describe cancers. Would you say that there is a miracle in particular that you think is the most amazing that you've performed? I was in Indonesia one time. And this woman jumps up out of her seat, screams, and comes walking down to the front with this tissue. And in the tissue is a tumor. She said, when I was preaching, fire came on her leg. It got so hot, the tumor exploded right out of her skin. Slid, she was wearing a dress, slid down her leg, and fell on the floor. So she picked the tumor up, carried it down to the front, and I thought she was bringing me an offering because I was preaching. <laughs> and I said, what is it that you have there? And I took it, she put it in my hand. And I looked down and the interpreter said, it's her tumor. I've had cancers oh God, come off crazy. people's faces when I prayed for them. You don't even really, I don't even think about it anymore. What about doctors? I mean, yeah. do, you, do you negate the, the purpose of doctors? Absolutely not. Medical doctors are gifted. I, I believe they're gifted by heaven. I believe it's a blessing, the medical system. And at the same time, it is our curse because we can over rely on something where we can have faith and God can heal. I do um, go to the doctor myself. I do get physicals. I think it's important to know what's going on. And if I do need to really approach God for healing, I'm, I'm much better if I really know what it is that's going on on the inside of me. So I thank God for doctors at the same time Divine healing for me is, is a priority. It's something I believe we can have, and it's something for the hopeless. I've been in the jungles where they've never seen a doctor in their life. So how do they get healed? All they have is faith. So quite often the miracles will even be greater in situations where there's great poverty and devastation. There's greater miracles. Where do you see this going? <laughs> you know, I know that the road has been a little bit rocky. Yeah, it's been up, it's been down. It can be controversial, you know, I haven't made... You are not without controversy. I'm not without controversy. I haven't made all the best choices either. I, I, I have a humanness still too, and I have a faith in God. And I always tell people I'm a work in progress, as you are. Do you think that anyone can learn how to heal? Um, I think you can help people have faith to believe in healing. I think there's, you can teach people how to pray for the sick and you know, how to be more effective maybe when they do pray for the sick. Yeah, I think anybody has the ability to pray in the name of Jesus and God answers prayer. That's, that's for the smallest, the least of these to the greatest. Everybody can pray for healing and I encourage them to.